El Paso, Juarez, Seoul! 1975, the El Paso Juarez Seoul is one of five charter franchises of the International Volleyball Association. Public reaction was mixed. We're going, what the heck is pro volleyball? The league was co-ed and the brainchild of Hollywood TV producers like David Wolfer, Motown Records' Barry Gordy, and former UTEP track coach Wayne Vandenberg. Wayne was a promoter. Wayne was the best. He would make an announcement if the Soul won the next game, the beer for the following game would be free. Right out, Soul! Paul Strelson was the public address announcer. It was wild. The people came in early. Uh, I rode the horse. Uh, he'd go up to the opposing team and he'd put the horse's head really where it doesn't belong. And uh, it was a lot of fun because it was a co-ed thing. I, I don't remember the locker room arrangements, but obviously they were on the up and up. The Soul's top female was player coach Mary Jo Pepler, a former Olympian turned national celebrity after winning a made-for-TV event called the Superstars. I don't think I've ever been so recognized or well-known as I was in El Paso because I won the Superstars while I was there. They got me in Johnny Carson a couple times. Everywhere I'd go, I mean, if I go out to eat or something, I'd be recognized. I got a little taste of what it would be like to be a, a movie star, you know. We have the best female athletes in the country playing volleyball because there was no other professional sport for them. In the outfits that they were putting on. And he goes, hey coach. And I turn around and he goes, you got a nice ass. <laughs> she was somebody that was capable, physically capable, of hitting against a man. But nobody could spike on the IVA's biggest star, Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt Chamberlain loved volleyball. Chamberlain played for the LA Stars. He was an icon, he was a sports icon. Wilt had marquee, but it was the foreign players, the Europeans and Latin Americans that gave the league credibility and charisma. Uh, the guys from Brazil were among the wildest. You had Lino de Melo Gama, who they called a caveman, and looked 100% like a caveman. Big old beard, long hair. Lino de Melo Gama. The offices for the El Paso War so were in that little kiosk in front Zim where the water was. Um, some of those players would go in there without bathing suits, sans clothing. In 1977, a pair of Polish Olympians, Stan Gosiniak and Ed Skorik, would lead the Seoul to the IVA's championship game. El Paso ended up with Ed Skorik. He dominated the league. He landed on somebody's leg, he twisted his knee and his ankle, and unfortunately, the Seoul came up short. In 1978, the Seoul played host to the nationally televised All-Star game. But trouble was brewing. Seoul players weren't getting paid. The league was under financed. There wasn't the large crowds that people had hoped for all across the league. And when the money well dried up, Wayne just decided to get out. Once Wayne stepped aside, it was over with. After losing an estimated $275,000, the sole franchise folded. The IVA would follow one year later. It was a tremendous endeavor. It was something that El Paso had. We weren't 700,000 people in those days. All in all, I think that the El Paso franchise was probably the best franchise in the league. That was great.